Sweden's Lynn Grant, this for birdie at the fourth. She's talked about how she feels really comfortable with the putter. And she certainly has shown it off. That was her third straight birdie, and then at the fifth. Another example here, beautiful Woo! stroke. Well, her tee shot went to the right into the trees, had to punch out to here. Obviously a long shot now into the green, but decent strike. Not surprising that she would miss the fairway right here today after missing it left yesterday and making bogey. It's a little bit uphill, it's going to break to the left. Lynn has not had her umbrella out all day, obviously coming from Sweden. I think she's kind of used to the wet conditions and nothing seems to be phasing her. Yeah, she didn't let outside things bother her. I talked to her coach at Arizona State, Missy Kay, and she says she has an ability to block out the things that, you know, if she can't control them, she's not going to worry about them. So that was, uh, that's what it looked like that rehearsal practice swing was going to be. Yeah, that is high and fading. Yeah, 111 foot apex versus, you're right, Karen. Great call there versus 47. Both players with a chance for Eagle. Lynn Grant for Eagle to extend that lead. Well, this one is uphill, but from long range. Stay up. All right, got that left for birdie, two-shot lead. What a beautiful drive she hit in there. Looks like she looks like she's going to finish. Yeah, she did on the last hole. I like that. He's waiting around. Get that putter face clean. Nothing in this. All right, nice birdie. It's sort of 14 under. With her, the way she carries this ball. That finds the fairway, and again, they're playing preferred lies. Uh, quite a bit of rain today, so many of these whole locations are on the highest portion of the green. Just slightly left of the hole. Yeah, not bad. Leaves it below the hole. That's putting almost straight back up the hill here. It's one of the beautiful things about coming back to the same place year after year. You, you develop that, that knowledge. Which, in a way, makes what Lynn Grant is doing even more impressive, seeing it for the first time. Maybe she'll have her name up there. And that's a pretty clean strike right there on a good line. All right, great line. Better than great. Did she make it? She did. Wow, what a shot. Oh, wow. That was amazing. What a shot. Too good. Check this out right here. What a great golf swing. A little bit of a draw right here. One bounce, spin back, and count it. Oh. Lynn Grant after holing out for Eagle at 11 on the tee at 12. And this hole is just a slight dog leg round to the right. But with Lynn's height and list distance here, she could end up with just a short club in her hands. It's a good looking drive. This tee shot though is a little bit awkward. You've got the bunkers down the left and it's very easy to run through the fairway on the right. And this isn't gonna be any problem at all though. Uh, no, if that tracer's correct and it is, uh, that's gonna be a really good spot right there. Distance control's been sometimes an issue. Shouldn't be from this distance though. Trying to keep it in low. Wow. Did she again? Incredible. Oh. Might have to play rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Shoot. Yeah, she did and almost made it. We hope we don't have any bad blood of any kind. There might sometimes always tends to be a little something, but you know, Lynn Grant almost certainly will be on that European squad. You can't miss a shot. It's so exciting. And this is starting a little bit right. Got to draw a smidge. She'll have another chance at a birdie. It's going to break a little bit to the left.
So she's going to stay nine under for the day. And ahead by six at the moment. Corpus with a birdie putt in a moment. But that scorecard. She went to the range after the round. Really tried to work on using her body more. Not letting her right arm release as much the through the ball. Said that's typically when her swing gets off. That is what she struggles with. And man, does she have it firing on all cylinders today. All right, at the right yardage, a shot in there, Andy Park hit. She's the only player over par in the top 30, so that'll help her. It looks like she's hitting this fairly straight. Doesn't look like there's much in it. Gotta go. Slides off to the right. So pretty stress-free par here at 15. She remains at 18 under, 9 under on her round today. Uh, so on this hole yesterday, she got quite a fortunate break she had a tee shot out to the right and it ricocheted back into the fairway no need to watch this one nope i think a good shot here would be anything within 10 foot of the hole pick it up really steeply going back what a shot mm. beautiful avoid that back lip of the bunker as well Well, mathematically, you wouldn't say the chance is over. We did see her hole out at 11. But uh, for Lynn Grant, her first bogey of the day, her lead is down to four. So you almost feel like you have to hit it on that tree line on the left with a little bit of fade to the fairway. Oh, that was a lovely high draw. I'd say that'll work right there. Nicely done. Used to bounce a little bit more on these shots, and that also creates more spin, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Slid that club underneath it nicely. Inside four feet for birdie. So he's only needed 24 putts to this point. I think what's been cool is to watch her. She'll have some conversations for her caddy, and as soon as she gets over the ball, she refocuses. That's so important. You don't have to concentrate for four and a half hours. You know, she's she was obviously quite aware of what was going on um, throughout the course of the, those last few holes for her. Let's uh, see if she can pummel a drive down here. I mean, technically, yeah. if she holds out her second shot, there's still a chance. Okay, now see, here you go with the math. That, so you're that's saying there's a chance. That's all I'm saying. Trying to win a tournament on the LPGA Tour for the first time, let alone also thinking about breaking scoring records. This for a 61. Oh. You think about it, she came to the U.S. after that vaccination ban was lifted in May. She played a match play event. Then she played two majors. Hard golf courses, Baltus Roll and Pebble Beach. So 62, perhaps not surprisingly, her low round.